the six programs that we're honoring here today have really demonstrated uh, the kind of collaboration and, and creativity and innovation that California is uh, known for. The Riverside Unified School District began its IPM program in 2007. They hired an in-house IPM technician to address pest management district-wide. Since then, they have significantly decreased the amount of pesticide use. We have worked hard uh, over the last several years to reduce the use of pesticides in our classrooms uh, and on our school sites uh, because it is in the best interest of kids. We are very proud of our program. We are very proud of uh, the individual immediately to my left, uh, Mr. Hugo Gutierrez, because um, it is uh, people that make the IPM program work and it is uh, truly his hard work and dedication uh, and uh, due diligence uh, that has made this uh, successful. So we're very uh, honored and uh, proud to receive this award. Thank you. This next award is for the Pink Bullworm Program that has kept the Pink Bullworm from becoming established in California's major cotton region. Their dynamic and sustained leadership efforts towards developing better IPM practices uh, has been instrumental in bringing eradication of the pink bollworm within reach. Wove all of those three technologies as the main control technologies into a program. We did a, a very large number of trials cooperatively between my lab, CDFA, Imperial County, Riverside County, and the other entities in Southern California. You can't get enough credit to the California cotton growers for their vision and wisdom of supporting area-wide integrated pest management. So on behalf of all us geezers who had a wonderful career on the Cooperative Pink Bowling Program, I thank you. The Cherry Buckskin Project. Uh, this project began in 1987 to prevent the establishment of cherry buckskin disease. Uh, this is a largely unfunded volunteer work program. It has resulted in the current absence of the disease in Contra Costa County and no need for uh, preventative sprays. The Cherry Buckskin Project trains growers and master gardeners to scout for the disease during harvest and emphasize grower to grower exchanges, providing skills and resources to cherry growers. These annual surveys plus management of diseased trees have helped prevent further spread. Today, the Cherry Buckskin Project has almost entirely eliminated buckskin around Brentwood. Thanks to the collaboration among the groups involved, the U-Pick cherry industry in Contra Costa County continues to thrive. It was a, a small task when we first started out. We had a couple hundred acres of cherries that we'd survey every year, and a few of us from Cooperative Extension in the Ag Department would just go out the one week during cherry harvest, you know, and uh, spend a few days uh, surveying those orchards. But as the cherry industry has grown, we have close to 1,000 acres. We've got a five week harvest period because we've got all these different varieties now. And it's sort of a challenge to get to those orchards just at harvest and make it all the way through. And so it's only because it's been a really active team project that we've been able to do this. Our next award is the uh, San Diego County Regional Airport Authority. Uh, they began their IPM program about five years ago to address human, environmental, and worker safety issues. Through a partnership with Cartwright Termite and Pest Control, the uh, Airport Authority IPM program became successful by focusing on pest prevention and good communication with employees. At the heart of the program is a regimented and robust inspection program. Inspectors use iPads for communication and coordination of data. More than 900 inspections of exterior and interior spaces occur monthly at the airport. The Airport Authority's IPM pro program has reduced the use of toxic pesticides at the airport by more than 60% over three years. A key component of the, of the Airport Authority's community strategy is to be a trusted and highly responsive agency. And your um, offer of this award to us today indicates that we're still on the right path. But in this particular project, with having tenants, 50,000 people moving through the airport a day in a 24-hour facility, it was a a challenge if not for you know for all of us and if it wasn't for the great uh, leadership from the airport the president of the airport I have to say Thelma Bowen she met with us quite a few times and was hundred percent behind this program and with the help of all the stakeholders of the airport made it a very successful program the Virginia Creeper Leafhopper project 
This project promotes area-wide IPM uh, practices in an effort to reduce or eliminate pesticide use for the Virginia creeper leafhopper. The project addresses two key factors to control the Virginia creeper leafhopper. One is doing extensive outreach to inform growers about the pest and how to properly time spraying applications. The second aspect of the project is biological control. An effective biocontrol parasitoid was found in the Sacramento Valley that would attack the Virginia creeper leafhopper. At the UC Berkeley greenhouse facilities, the parasitoid is being reproduced in large colonies and then released in vineyards throughout Mendocino and Lake County. See, there's a a lot of different people coming from a lot of different places to, to address these pest outbreaks in Lake and Mendocino County. You've got people from the university, from Cooperative Extension, uh, all working together here. Our last one is kind of interesting name, Project Apis M. It's an organization that funds beekeeping research and IPM programs uh, to protect bees used in crop pollination. Seeds for Bees is a cover crop program that was developed by us in order to provide a, a more diverse, wider range of nutrition for bees at a critical time of year. We're a small nonprofit, and we put in last year, put in about 6,000 acres that affected 11 or 12,000 acres of almond orchards. So um, almonds is the number two agricultural uh, uh, product here in California, and, and bees are, play a major role in that. So we try to uh, support the almond industry and, and really any grower uh, that is willing to, to help our bees and, and plant forage and, and, and reduce the need for pesticides.